Rafael Nadal addressed a number of important topics on day one of the Australian Open, with the Spaniard using his post-match press conference to take on the ATP over their failure to help the Majorca flooding crisis, and the player council for their attempted bid to oust ATP executive chairman and president Chris Kermode. But it was his reaction to catching a reporter fast asleep in his press conference that triggered the biggest reaction, namely from Nadal himself. The opening Grand Slam of the year often proves troublesome for a number of the world's tennis media pack given that unless they are based in Australia or the surrounding area, jet lag is almost certainly an issue, particularly across the first few days of the tournament when the days are long and the rest periods are short. That's perhaps why Nadal was not too fussed when he spotted Yuba tennis journalist Ubaldo Scanagata with his eyes shut during his press conference, with the Spaniard joking, it's not interesting today. The comical incident quickly awoke Scanagata, but a laughing Nadal was not about to hold it against him. Created with sketch. Created with sketch. Andy Murray refused to go down without a fight against Roberto Bautista Gut. But Brit dropped the first set after being broken late on. Britain's Dan Evans reacts during his victory over Japan's Tatsuma Ito. Katie Bolter celebrates her victory over Ekaterina Makarova in the Australian Open first round. Ekaterina Makarova is one of the most experienced players on the tour but was beaten by Bolter. Britain's Heather Watson reacts after her defeat against Petra Martic. Watson was distraught at her early exit. Maria Sharapova of Russia shakes hands with Harriet Dart of Great Britain after a 6-0, 6-0 victory. Tomas Burdick celebrates his victory over Kyle Edmund. Tomas Burdick shakes hands with Kyle Edmund after his Australian Open first round victory. Rafael Nadal followed his Australian Open victory over James Duckworth by criticizing the ATP. Roger Federer celebrates after his victory over Dennis Estom and Andy Murray refused to go down without a fight against Roberto Bautista Gut. But the Brit dropped the first set after being broken late on. Britain's Dan Evans reacts during his victory over Japan's Tatsuma Ito. Katie Bolter celebrates her victory over Ekaterina Makarova in the Australian Open first round. Ekaterina Makarova is one of the most experienced players on the tour but was beaten by Bolter. Britain's Heather Watson reacts after her defeat against Petra Martic. Watson was distraught at her early exit. Maria Sharapova of Russia shakes hands with Harriet Dart of Great Britain after a 6-0, 6-0 victory. Tomas Burdick celebrates his victory over Kyle Edmund. Tomas Burdick shakes hands with Kyle Edmund after his Australian Open first round victory. Rafael Nadal followed his Australian Open victory over James Duckworth by criticizing the ATP. Roger Federer celebrates after his victory over Dennis Estoman. I know, you were closing your eyes to be more focused on what I was saying, Nadal added. Nadal made a comfortable start to his Australian Open campaign as he looks to clinch an 18th career Grand Slam, though the number two seed is bidding for just his second Melbourne crown. His 6-4, 6-3, 7-5 victory over Australian wildcard James Duckworth sets up a second-round clash with another home hope in Matthew Ebden, and if the bottom half of the draw goes according to plan he is due to face US Open finalist Kevin Anderson in the quarter-finals before a possible semi-final clash against old foe Roger Federer. Keep up to date with all the latest transfer news, rumors and done deals throughout the January window.